You've probably heard that America has the most mass shootings in the world. That's often given as a reason for more gun control. But economist John Lott looked into that claim and he says it's a myth based on one bogus study. The United States has the most mass shootings. By far the most public mass shootings. You don't see murder on this kind of scale with this kind of frequency in any other advanced nation on earth. Where'd that claim come from? Obama and everyone else base it on. A study done by University of Alabama professor Adam Lankford. University of Alabama professor Adam Lankford. This is Adam Langford. I studied 171 countries for more than 40 years, 1966 to 2012. And essentially the answer was, not surprisingly, the United States has by far the most public mass shooters. His claim received coverage in hundreds of news stories, but all these people were misled by Langford. Langford's study claimed that since 1966, there were 90 mass public shooters in the United States more than any other country. Langford counted 202 shooters in the rest of the world. Langford claimed complete data were available for 171 countries. But how did Langford find every shooting in all these countries, most of which don't speak English? And how did he find all the cases in the years before the internet? Few governments collect this data. Finding complete data for mass public shootings in just one developing country, say India, in the 1970s, would be an incredible feat. Many of these shootings would have been reported only in local outlets, in the local language. That shooting at the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. On the other hand, United States mass public shootings are well documented and hard to miss. If Langford undercounted foreign cases because he missed finding old newspapers or had trouble with language barriers, his paper's entire conclusion that the United States had the most mass public shootings would fall apart. Many journalists and researchers asked Langford for his data. Not only did he refuse to share a list of his cases or even the number of shootings he found in each country, which are nowhere in his paper. He refused to share an explanation for how he found those cases. That's academic malpractice. Asked if he used foreign languages to search for these shootings, Langford stated, my data were not limited to English language searches. Asked what languages he used, Langford refused to provide that information. This is all the assistance I can provide at this time, Langford said. Look, I've researched crime for decades, and I've published dozens of peer-reviewed academic articles on the subject. Langford won't even respond to my emails with simple questions. Now, maybe he doesn't want to talk to me because I'm well known for my research, More Guns, Less Crime. But Langford has refused to share his list of shooters and methods, even with strong gun control advocates. This all seemed very suspicious to me. So the think tank that I run, the Crime Prevention Research Center, researched it. Unlike Langford, we took a lot of time to find all the foreign cases we could. We even got translators to identify cases. Using the same definition of mass public shooters Langford used, four or more people killed in a public place, not part of some other type of crime, we found that he grossly undercounted foreign attacks. We counted well over 3,000 shooters, at least 15 times more shooters as Langford claimed. 31% of total shooters, despite the fact that we only have 5% of the world's population. Of the 86 countries where we have identified any mass public shootings occurring, the United States ranks 62nd. Norway, Finland, Switzerland, and Russia are European countries with significantly higher rates of murders for mass public shootings. The explanation is firearm ownership rate. When Langford's data are fixed, there is no relationship between gun ownership rates and mass public shooters. There's a lesson here. Langford's critical but simple error could have been picked up if journalists had only demanded his data and methods before publicizing his study. Journalists should learn to be skeptical. In the meantime, we should all be skeptical of news coverage of studies like this that simply confirm what journalists and people want to hear.
Before releasing this video, I also asked Langford for his data and methods for finding shootings in foreign language media. Langford would not provide the information.